What's up guys, Itano here and today I'm gonna show you how to play Riven, so let's go with Longsword. I'll be playing against Silas and depending on the matchup you can start with Q or E. So in this case I'm gonna start with Q, but since your E is a shield it's worth starting that in some matchups, especially ranged ones or when playing against something that has a really strong level 1. So you just press that shield in the moment of trading or to avoid the poke. The Alright, so let's get to her skill explanation. So on passive Revenge Blade gains a charge for 6 seconds every time she uses an ability, stacking up to 3 times, and Revenge Basic Attacks consume a charge when available to deal bonus physical damage. As for her Q, Riven dashes towards the targets nearest to the cursor or in the direction she is currently facing, dealing physical damage to all enemies in front of her. Q can be then reactivated twice within the next 4 seconds, with the second cast refreshing the timer. And Q third cast damages all enemies around Riven in an expanded radius and knocks them up, so this is a knock up. Riven can cross terrain during this cast. So, with your third Q it's possible to wall jump, generally hop through obstacles, and it's really important mechanic on her. Each Q cast causes her next basic attack to occur more quickly, and this is not considered a basic attack timer reset. By the way, it's not possible to spell shield your Q, I mean the first two casts, the third one can be spell shielded. But just keep in mind, and the most important thing about Q is to do it smoothly. So in order to do fast Q combo you do outside attack then Q on target with your cursor, then click away so move back and repeat the process. So just do also Q, click away, also Q again, again back and auto with your third Q having a uh, cast time. And you should be doing that when trading and when taking turret to take it faster and also that way it's possible to take wards. So if you are standing in bush in the river early game and you see an enemy warding then just by doing fast Q combo you can take that ward down with just 3 uses of your Q by doing all attacks like this smoothly. So you do also Q move, Q also move again and also. Your Q makes you very mobile so you can use it to make a nice escape or close the gap with your enemy. So when chasing remember that your third Q has slightly increased range and it can be unexpected for your enemies. As for escaping, always try to do something creative with your third Q to just jump through corner cuts or walls. Just everything to make the bigger gap between you and your enemies to make a successful escape. For the best amount of damage, make sure that your mouse is over the target when casting Q during fast Q combo or else you will go through them and it will be slower to reset your basic attacks. And it's important also when chasing the target in front of you, so always Q in front of the target so that you won't miss the damage and to make sure that you are just chasing in the right direction. With your Q you can also dodge abilities, so this is overall a creative ability, it's all about you, how you use it. And as for E, this is a dash in the target direction of the cursor, shielding you for 1.5 seconds. The shield scales from attack damage, so the more attack damage you have, the stronger the shield is. Your E can be used to bypass player created terrain such as Anivia's W or Jarvan's ultimate, but you are not able to go through walls with E, so don't try that. Also you are not able to cast E while being rooted, and you should be using your E mainly to soak some damage, 
the important part of the burst from your enemy. So during the laning phase you can use E to just block basic attacks. Whether it's melee or ranged enemy champion. Or to close the gap so you do E then Q. And that makes you even more mobile, helps you in making even greater escapes or when chasing. And of course with your E you can dodge a bit. So during the trade you should be doing your fast EQ, because it goes at the same time. So you can make short trades, just EQ, auto, move back, auto Q and repeat the process, something like this. As for W, this is a stun, Riven stuns all enemies within the circle range and the stun is for 0.75 seconds, so it's really short but enough to land your combos right. This is a nice addition to your combo and now let's talk about the combo that is good for fast escapes and that is really helpful in this demanding matchups such as Manekton or Jax and especially Jax so EW is the faster version of WE so you should be doing EW only so in the moment even when going back and you are being chased you press E and W right after so your enemy gets stunned imagine that Jax is making an engage on you with his E and Q in the moment of his Q, you do EW, he is getting stunned, you are outside the stun range and he makes a difference in other matchups too. So you just go with the poke with your autos and Q and then move back with EW while still being in range to deal the damage from that ability. To get to the lane faster, as you could see, I was using Q and E because it takes no resources and I can restore the cooldown anyway. As you noticed I'm building Dead Dance first and this is your usual first item though against more demanding matchups and especially tanky ones it's worth going Black Lever first. The Phage movement speed bonus helps you in trading more efficiently and overall this itemization helps you in surviving these matchups. If you are playing against heavy or to attack Riant champions then it's worth rushing Ninja Tabi, but since you are running magical footwear in rules it won't be possible. Then in that case just use perfect timing rune for a free stopwatch. All of this combined with 10% CDR in rules will grant you 45% CDR, making your cooldowns go really low so you will be able to impact the game more. And the build that I'm showing you in this video is really strong and good for teamfights, especially for outplaying your enemies. And just to stay alive for as long as you can. Now let's explain her ultimate. On active for 15 seconds you gain bonus attack damage, scaling from 20% AD. You also get 75 bonus range on her basic attacks, increased range on Q and W as well as becoming able to cast your ultimate second time to deal the damage, which is your wind slash. So your second ultimate cast works like this, on active you unleash a wave of energy in a cone area, dealing physical damage to all enemies hit and the damage is increased by targets missing health. So always try to press your second ultimate cast when your enemy has low health to just finish off. The most important thing is not to cast second ultimate when your enemy is healthy, that's it. When going in with your ultimate remember to cast E first, so fast E ultimate that way you skip the main part of the animation and you can do it just really smoothly. And if you are really close to your enemy you can do E ultimate Q, also looks the same. And you can use O during a wall hop with your third Q by doing E ultimate Q. This is the same for your E and second ultimate cast. 
So when doing your full combo with your Q, you can skip most part of the animation of second ultimate. So you do Q, Q and E ult, then Q again. And if you don't have your E, then just try to cast ultimate after your second Q and after that third Q and it looks much better. So of course with your bonus range you have an easier time chasing someone, you are just able to reach your enemy and deal damage even from just basic attacks and especially your Q. An enemy has been slain. But it's really crucial to press ultimate at the start of the fight so you have the bonus attack damage making all of your abilities hit harder and this can make a difference between getting a kill or not. Just sometimes try not to make it obvious so do the E ultimate combo when being closer to your enemy because if you just randomly cast ult it will be easy to read that you are about to make an engage at your enemy. So your standard engage combo with ultimate should look like this. You do E, ultimate, flash, OC attack, W and Q. This should be enough to burst down squishies and you give no reaction time with your fast flash and W. Also you can do E, second ultimate, cast and flash. So it's unexpected are beginning the animation of your wind slash and you flash right after closing the gap and finishing off. There is a short duration during which you can cast your second ultimate so if your enemy is far away at least try to dash and deal the damage from that part before it disappears. So the previously mentioned fast Q combo, as you can see when taking the turret I'm moving back a bit so that I can do the Q faster with basic attacks. Right now it's not necessary to build Tiamat, but as for Tiamat combos you go E Tiamat's active Q or E Tiamat's W also E, Tiamat, Ultra Attack, W, Q, this is really fast. And the hard combo that is E, Ultimate Flash, W, Ultra Attack, Tiamat Active, Second Ultimate Cast and Q. So of course it's harder to show combos in a gameplay and not every combo happens in the game. So I write down the combos in the comment section that you can check and practice. There is also a nice combo for teamfights that you have seen many times for sure. That is E ultimate flash while having your third Q ready. So you do both casts of your Q then flash third Q, of course doing E ultimate before, so you skip animation and it's unexpected, but make sure that when doing this combo you have multiple targets, because it's not worth doing for two targets, but it can be great for winning the teamfight, especially if you have Guardian Angel build, so you can freely engage without having to worry, Also there is important combo that is EWQ and you can do W and Q at the same time but it's only possible when your shield is active and you should be casting that at the very end of the animation. So when E is about to end you do WQ and it goes at the same time the first cast of Q. Let's see if I can dive Syndra. You should be roaming mid often and you can try to pick up kills there, also diving when your enemy is below half HP. You have easy access with your third Q 
add your second ultimate cast so you know you should be trying that. And that was an example of your wall jump with third Q. So just make sure that you are facing the direction where you want to dash. And that's it. For some bigger walls you will have to practice and stand really close. So you can do E first before third Q to do it faster. But it's not something hard. Just stand in the direction and also help yourself by aiming your cursor behind the obstacle that you want to pass. So you see fast queue like this move back, it's not hard. There is a plant, so also when chasing, if you are chasing while being close to a plant and in this spot, then you can use third Q and close the gap by using a plant. It rarely happens, but sometimes it can help. Always try to do ultra attack before your second ultimate cast. This time I wasn't able to, not in range. Rampage. Let's just use her out. Couldn't really stick to the target if I had my W with my ultimate combo, then he would die. So I went to Italy this time. Let's dive him. Oh, he had stopwatch. And then I thought I quit the turret range. Not really my game. But providing information is the key thing that matters, right? Oh, I can TP there. You can play with Ignite as well, but teleport is for such situations when you can impact other lanes. Now I have my core item so I can start impacting the game. Let's go, it's a good idea to speed push with Riven because you have good wave clear and you can get away easily, also having a lot of outplay potential. If you are being ahead or if you have items providing survivability, then you can be an engager for your team. And sometimes it's also worth to just go from the backline and finish off your enemies. Okay. Hmm, good damage. Just pay attention how much you can survive in a team fight. Especially with this build that is from Challenger. The healing and synergy is insane. So to close the gap fast you can do E and third Q. That's it for most combos, but let's talk about something for laning phase when you are being ahead and your enemy is hugging a turret. Then you have some other combos, so you can go with Q, W, auto attack and then E to dash away, also with your second Q to avoid the to its aggro or just to avoid the enemy champion trying to trade back the damage so you can only take one turret shot that can be soaked by your shield
Let's do the trap. Then I didn't do my W right. Nice synergy with Zinian. Going back to combos on lane. Next one is W auto attack EQ. So it's almost the same. And also third Q with auto attack and EW. So you go in with your third Q and do basic attack. Then the previously mentioned combo where your enemy is not able to respond. That is EW. You dash back Y casting the stun at your enemy at the same time. Oh, he misclicked. Let's back. Or maybe I'll trap again. Doesn't seem like. As for bans, I recommend banning Renekton, this matchup is unfair for Riven. So that's it. As for others, Jax can be tricky, but if you do the EW combo right in the right moment, then you are fine against him. Damn, the combos are not going the way I want this game. Okay, so we can back now and take Baron unless they are going for the team fight. I have so much gold to spend. So this will be the final one probably. Oh nice old by the man. Okay, that's it. Let's throw with the P. I died because of that troll. So thank you guys for watching, hope that you learned something about Riven, have a like, subscribe and see you next time.